Welcome back into Good Day Kansas. Today we're in Phillipsburg. It's time for another Kansans Fueling Kansas segment. We're spending time learning about the Prairie Horizon Agri-Energy Ethanol Plant and we are with Manager CEO, General Manager and CEO Joe Kreitzer. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. So tell me a little bit about your facility. Who works here? How many people and what you guys do on a daily basis? Well, we're a 40 million gallon a year ethanol plant. Uh, been in operation a little over 14 years. We employ 36 full-time employees. Uh, grind about 15 million bushels of corn every year. Wow. All that coming from about a 30 mile radius. Uh, well, what a lot of people don't understand is of that 15 million bushels, we actually turn 5 million equivalent bushels uh -huh. back onto the market as a high protein animal feed. Oh my gosh, so you guys are pretty unique here in that sense, but also because we're standing next to pumps, right? Yep. So tell us a little bit about these pumps. <laughs> well, so these are blender pumps. Uh, we put this side in about two and a half years ago. You know, as a company and my myself, we've always promoted ethanol, you know, kind of large national scale. Sure. Uh, but as I talk to our local organizations and groups and trying to promote ethanol locally and in Kansas, right. you know, nobody could get it anywhere. Uh, so, you know, at some point we thought, you know, we got to take supply in our own hand. Uh, so we decided to put these pumps in uh, so our community and travelers through Phillipsburg here uh, had a choice to put ethanol in their vehicle. And of course support local while Absolutely. doing that. Now, yep. a couple of different blends are offered here. Tell me about them. We offer naturally the regular E10 that you buy anywhere at any fuel site. Okay. E15, E20, E30, and E85. Now I know different blends are offered here, so just walk me through the differences and what they offer. Uh, yeah, we offer every blend of eth ethanol. We, you know, we have E10 all the way up to E30 and E85. Uh, you know, E15 is kind of a, kind of the next step above E10. It can be used in any vehicle. Uh, we've also proven through a bunch of studies E30 can be used in any vehicle. Okay. Uh, but you know, if somebody's a little hesitant and kind of want to believe the horror stories, you know, they can kind of step it up. E85 is strictly for flex fuel vehicles. Okay. So there is a little bit of difference, and of course, different of benefits as sure, well, right? Absolutely. So yeah. you, the more ethanol, the cleaner, more affordable it is. So what does it mean to you and the Prairie Horizons Agri Energy Center here, just to to be fueling our state? We've been um, in operation over 14 years. I've been in the business for over 18 years. Uh, we've always been a big supporter, uh, you know, trying to promote es ethanol on a national level and sure. things like that. So being able to, in my own town fuel my own vehicle with it. Right. It's, it, you know, there's a lot of pride in that and it's something I think about every time. Every time I see somebody pull in here, uh, you know, and put ethanol in their car, it just makes you feel good. Our community feel good about it. The farmers that bring us corn, uh, you know, can come out here and know they're putting their product in their vehicle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it makes us proud and makes uh, me smile every time I see somebody filling up. Supporting <laughs> local at its finest right here. Joe, thank you so much for your time today. We really sure. appreciate it. If you are interested in learning more about Kansas Made Ethanol, please reach out to the website fueledbykansas.com. And of course, stay tuned. We do have more Good Day Kansas after the break.